you know, walking down to the boathouse on the 22nd of October 2011 here in Muskoka. Time to put away the boat, or the boats, anyway. One of the boats is already up. That's the boat's already up. Actually, in the, in the background, there's another one. And today we'll be putting up the dippy end of the season and finally uh, predicting freezing weather so it's time to let it get put up for the winter and there's a view out of the the boat slip Nice day here in Muskoka. That's the old boathouse. Coming up to Lake Rosso here. <clears throat> Just finished lunch. Had a really tasty bacon and tomato and celery or lettuce sandwich homegrown tomatoes lettuce not a homegrown pig though there's a view from the bridge just a lovely lovely day Not much in the way of wind. Just a nice breeze. You can see the water is just faintly rippling. Autumn in Muskoka. Won't last long. Probably another month. It'll all be white. Frozen ice. Ice, by definition, is frozen, so it'll be frozen water. There's a view up the lake. As far as the eye can see, nice flat water. deck that we use to hang out in the summertime and the spring and the fall but certainly not the winter uh, there'll be ice three feet thick by March and then by the end of April it's all gone the cottage. It's a bench that I made from a, an old iron bed. It was too narrow for anything so I just made a bench out of it. And you can see the bridge in the background there. I made that in 2006. But as I said, it's a lovely, lovely day here. 
on him in Muskoka. So there's the dippy up on the uh, slings. Get another shot of it. Just as lovely as ever. And, and actually, if we go down a bit. see the uh, propeller and the skeg and that is the heart and soul of the, the spring propeller boat idea. Muskoka. It's time to say goodbye to all this stuff and undertake winter projects and then come back next spring. I'm coming in here, but there it is, Emily, one of the most photographed dippies, appears in most of the picture books for Muskoka, 1926, and you can see the interesting feature is the uh, close spacing of the ribs, and then down in the engine compartment there's the copper jacket and you can see the muffler, it's almost as big as the darn engine. It's really nice and quiet. And there's a shot of the lake in all its autumn splendor. So if you're walking out to the face of the slip here and having a look at what we see when we go out in our dippy. Some really nice colors, nice bright reds. Starting to fade a bit. Lots of evergreens though.